Well, I think that's a great question. I am running for city council in Ward 1. I would say, I tell people all the time, it's mainly because my neighbors ask me to. Um, they continue, continue to challenge me around, you know, me being vocal in our community about the issues that matter, like road widenings and, you know, traffic impact statements or tra traffic impact analysis, when the trash is picked up or not, and all those things. But uh, mostly because I, I really want to see us have an equitable derm that actually works for everyone. And so I work really, really hard. And the last election I ran to see to see derm, which was to kind of have a social, equitable, um, social economic, social economic and environmentally just derm. And it's the same thing now. There's no way to cover that in three years or three and a half years. And so I feel like another term is definitely helpful to get us to that point. I am uh, running for city council in Ward 1, and I'm running to keep Durham at the forefront of North Carolina's progressive movement and to do it in a way that keeps Durham accessible, affordable, and livable. I believe we have a choice between that Durham and a Durham that only rich people can afford to live in. Durham is hands down my favorite place that I've ever lived, and this community is passionately engaged in social justice and powerfully motivated to advance progressive issues in the face of a state legislature that is pretty hostile to progressive values. And even in a traumatic time, like with the pandemic, we are still producing art and music and finding ways to stay in community with each other. Um, we're facing so many crises, like we've got a housing crisis, a public health crisis, an economic crisis, but we're also creating so many opportunities. And I believe we need leaders who will make the right choices for Durham to survive these crises and take advantage of these opportunities.